Welcome to TradesViz. In this video, we will go over a quick overview of different tabs on TradesViz. The first tab that you will see on Login is the Overview tab which has the snapshot of your PL statistics. This includes your daily PL, total PL, volume stats, and win rate stats. Up next are the Trades tables. This is where you will see all of your trades and around 80 plus metrics about each trade. The trades table is extremely customizable and versatile in filtering and visualization. We will explore the trades table in depth in another dedicated video about TradesViz tables. For now, we will try to explore a trade. You can get to the Trade Explore page of a trade by clicking on the target icon. The Trade Explore tab that you are seeing now shows you all the information about the trade you are looking at. From the PL all the way to exit analysis, MFE, MA, targets, unrealized statistics, and more are all available on the Trade Explore page. This page also includes a chart that automatically plots the executions and targets of your trades. If you scroll further down, you will see more trade related features such as trade plans, executions, charts, a delayed chart, running PL chart, and more. Take your time to explore this tab. There are plenty of features that you will find useful and this will probably be your most visited tab as you start to explore more trades. Up next, we will take a quick look at the pivot table which combines charting and tabular filtering into one to give you a very powerful way to visualize your data efficiently. There are in-depth blog posts on how to use the pivot table which we have linked in the description of the video. The Trade Plan Analysis tab shows you statistics about the trading plans you have attached to your trades. These are custom fields like checkboxes, numbers, text, etc. that you can add to your trade and view statistics based on the know. Of checkboxes checked, the categories used and so on. Trade plans are very versatile and can be used to track your emotions, trading systems, correlations with market conditions, and so on. The Trades Chart tab is interesting because it combines both chart plus trades over a period of time and it's the only way to visualize all trades you've made in a single chart. For example, here we are looking at all the ES trades made in a span of a couple of weeks. The next section we will explore is the Calendar tab. You can see your daily PL along with the summary of each week's PL at the bottom. From this tab, you can visit the Day Explore tab, which is similar to the Trade Explore that we saw previously but for a particular trading day. On the Day Explore tab, you will see info about the economic events, your watch lists, notes, and tags for this particular trading day. You will also see a table for all the trades you've made on this day with buttons to explore the trade quickly. You will notice that a lot of the tabs in TradesViz are interconnected. It is designed this way so that you can quickly visit different sections of your dashboard without any page refreshes or reloads. We also have different types of calendars such as week-based where you will see a chart of the trades per week and a year-based heat map visualization which is very useful to get a bird's eye view of all your trading days in a calendar year. The next tab is the notes. Think of this as a central repository of all your notes from trades and days. Easily accessible and editable and you can also directly jump to a trade or a day by clicking on the buttons at the top left corner of the notes. Note that TradesViz also offers tags for notes but we will explore that in another video. Up next is the custom dashboard. TradesViz has over 600 charts and statistics, but you may not need them all at all times and for the ones you need, you want them in a single tab. That's where a custom dashboard can help you. Think of this as a blank canvas where you can add any chart, stat, table, etc., and set it as your home page if needed. There are endless unique possibilities and you can create up to 10 unique dashboards each potentially serving a different use case. After this, we have the AIQNA tab which is a feature that is unique to TradesViz Trading Journal. Here you can ask questions about your trading data and get answers in mere seconds. AI queries can be really complex to get stats that are not even available in TradesViz or it can be as simple as asking for a quick summary of your trades based on certain filters. Once again, the flexibility TradesViz offers to traders when it comes to data visualization, filtering, and exploring is unparalleled. We now come to the Summaries tab which has four unique tabs that all summarize some part of your trading data. The Equity Curve shows you the account's equity curve based on your deposits, withdrawals, and P&L. You can also compare with indices, stocks, and pretty much any ticker to see how well you have performed. Overall Statistics is one of the most commonly used tabs that shows you point-based statistics about your entire trading data. 
If you are looking for a numbers-only all-in-one summary page about your entire trading data, this is it. Next, we have account statistics which show the same data as overall statistics but in a tabular format so that you can compare with other accounts side by side. Finally, tag group statistics show you a summary of your tags based on the tag groups they belong to so that you can get an idea of what tags you need to focus on the most. We finally come to the chart sections of TradesViz. We will not go through all of the tabs here, as a lot of them share a common theme, so we will first explore the profit and loss chart which is another frequently used tab on TradesViz. In this tab, you will notice charts paired with a list of auto-generated statistics that are based on the chart data. Make sure you at least glance through the insight as they combine PL, volume, and trades data together to generate actionable pieces of data. Each chart based tab you see in the trade analysis section will have charts related to price range, volume range, time of day, duration, calendar based, and finally side and asset based charts. An important feature of the chart is that you can add overlays to any of these charts to uncover hidden insights that you might not see immediately in a single series chart. This applies to almost all the charts and it is recommended to use this frequently to understand correlations in your data. On top of this, another important feature is that you can easily explore the chart by clicking on any of the chart's data points. For example, here we can explore this particular data point of this bar chart to learn what trades contribute to this data point. This click to explore feature is available on almost all the charts you see on TradesViz. So when in doubt, click, explore, and learn. Sometimes you may find outliers in your chart. Instead of just noticing that there is an outlier, explore it. Find the cause and see what can be done to improve your trading performance with that information. That's the essence of trading analysis that we want to provide to traders on TradesViz. You will also see charts on symbols, tags, win rates, and advanced metrics such as MFE, MA, R value, expectancy, and more in all the other tabs. TradesViz also offers charts based on exit analysis which is an analysis of how much you could have potentially gained in your trade and related stats such as exit efficiency of your trades. Finally, statistics for options trades based on Greeks also exist which are really useful if you are an options trader. This concludes the tab section of the TradesViz dashboard. The UI of the TradesViz dashboard you are seeing now has been greatly simplified, yet is rich in functionality. For example, all the filter options are tucked inside the filters sidebar which opens when you click on the filters button. This has options to view net or gross PL and also various global filter options that you can use. The other two frequently used components are the trading accounts list at the top right corner from which you can select what trading accounts you want to view and the calendar date range selection that lets you filter for different ranges of dates. This concludes the simple walkthrough of the TradesViz dashboard. We will explore in detail each tab of TradesViz in other dedicated videos. Resources to learn more about TradesViz and its features are listed in the video's description. We hope this video gave you an idea of how feature-filled and powerful TradesViz is as a trading journal. If you are not yet a user, sign up now for a completely free trial and experience a whole new world of trade journaling. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at support at tradesviz.com. Thank you for watching this video.